two men, not big men, two small men, with two fishing rods, good rods, big rods, one big truck, one small boat, four small cameras, zero camera experience, with one big idea, two men and their fishing rods. Going to Dungeon Lake. You know how to get there? Nope. I'm sure my back row map book does. Look, I already loaded up. Maybe you should double check. Buds, stack of box, life jackets. Yeah, there it So, according to this, the quickest way is going to be through the gate at Englishman River Road. We're going left. Perfect. That's where the gay guy lives. Oh, yeah! So you're gonna left off the highway on an Englishman River Road, travel about a kilometer past the gate. Speaking of the gate, it was gate lady this time. She was very pleasant. She gave us a lot of information on the gate schedule. It's open weekends from 8 in the morning till 5 at night. During weekdays, there's active logging, so you don't want to be on these roads. And she also gave us a list to fill out, their name, address, all that sort of stuff. Just in case we get lost, they can find us. Thank you, Nathan. As I was saying, kilometer past the gate, we're going to take a right at the first fork in the road. Catch up to you in a bit. So it looks like there's some rough terrain and quite a few turns to get to this lake. Are we going to have enough time to go over all these? Probably not. Uh, maybe we'll just stop and show them the main ones, tell them to bring a uh, decent 4x4 in their back road map book. Yeah. Check out our Facebook page for more info. Okay. Well, the next obvious fork in the road, it was cleverly labeled Rhododendron Lake, we took a left. Follow that for a little while. Next fork, right! So it looks like we're almost there, man. Right up. Yeah. Hey, look what I learned. What? How hey. are you doing that? A few turns later, we've reached the power lines. Here's where you want to pop it in four wheel drive. Left up the hill. After navigating a sequence of uh, backwoods turns, we've arrived at the Rhododendron Lake. Looks like a beautiful, calm day. The last thing we gotta do is unload the boat. I got an idea for that. Do you? Yeah. Did it unload it itself? You bet your bottom dollar it did. Nice. I'll grab the rods, you grab the life jackets. Let's go fishing. Alright Tyler, what's the technique we're using here, man? Well, Rhododendron Lake's about 15 feet deep. I was just going to test the waters with a uh, trusty hook and worm. What's with you and worms, man? What can I say, buddy? I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we bobbing or we trolling? <laughs> uh, let's toss out a bob. A nice cast. But, uh, you know, it's got this new rod. I think I, I can outdo you, man. See? Nice. So not only was bobbing boring, mm -hmm. but proved unsuccessful. Very. So we moved on to bigger and better things, mm -hmm. such as trolling. Rhododendron Lake. I'm just gonna toss out the usual rainbow steelhead cutthroat trout scenario at you. You know, we've all been there. It's five or six hectares in size. It's actually six hectares. Exactly six hectares. What's well, one or two hectares between friends, Tyler? <laughs> Not a big deal. Not a big deal, yeah. Just like every other lake we've been to, best fishing from May to June, September to October. By looking at the shoreline, this lake was not named after Mr. Rhododendron. In fact, it's named after the beautiful pink rhododendrons that surround the lake. Those beautiful rhododendrons you see are Pacific rhododendrons, 
only found on two spots here on Vancouver Island. Rhododendron Lake being one of them, the other one up in Port Renfrew somewhere. What I'm going to use today for the uh, trolling portion is this cute little pink spoon. I, uh, you know, had good luck in the past. Why stop a good thing? Yeah, it's very nice. And uh, because there's quite a few bugs on this lake, I've rigged up this pink fly. I'm just going to float along the surface and see what happens. According to the weatherman, it was supposed to be a beautiful day today. Threw on some t-shirts and uh, it starts to rain. Yeah, but it's not all bad. What the rain does is it not only diminishes the noise of the boat, but also... Got one, got one, got one, got one, got one, got one. <laughs> Lively one. Oh, yeah. Perfect. That is a nice cutthroat trout. Let her go and catch some more. Well, as we were saying earlier, obviously what the rain does is it not only diminishes some of the noise the boat makes, but it also increases the oxygen content in the water, which makes the fish a lot more lively. One, two, three. No, no. Yeah, oh, I got one, I got one. How does that work? <laughs> yes. Nice. That's decent, buddy. All right. It's another cutthroat. This is like my first fish in like four episodes, so I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> yeah, that's a, hey, I'm not knocking that fish, man. That's an all right fish. We'll let this one go. All right, I hate to do this, but I gotta pull over. All right, man, you know where to find me. Yeah. Wait, I'll be two seconds. All right, man. What could he possibly want me to look at? Ah! <laughs> Taylor! Don't scare me like that! <laughs> look what I found! Cool! Bunch of info on uh, rhododendron lakes, surrounding trees, wow. wildlife, everything. That's awesome, man. Manage protected species. Oh, yeah. So don't go blowing your nose with it. Guess not, eh? Fix that idea. <laughs> this is actually really, really cool. I'm glad you found this. Yeah, it is neat, isn't it? And you know, we learned a few things today, caught a few fish, stop in the boat and troll home. Hey man. And set the hook. Set the hook. You got one? I got one. Heisty, heisty. These are nice. Rhododendron Lake Cutthroat Trout. Oh, where's the number? This is 16. Hey, we'll release this lovely little guy though. I got one, I got one. Yes, yes. Oh, get it in, get it in. Jeez, this one actually feels pretty good. Come on, come on. <laughs> well, one more cutthroat. <laughs> we'll let it go. What a hidden gem. Rhododendron Lake. Yeah, wow. I don't think either of us expected that. One of our personal favorites so far. For good reason too. Not only is there plenty of fish, beautiful flowers, but we noticed there's no trail garden. Yeah. That is good to see. What a bonus. Yeah, so anyway, Nathan, you caught fish today, which is mind blowing. <laughs> that was weird. And for that, I think I'm gonna resurrect the good work hey, trophy. Hey, there we go. Nice. Yeah, good job, buddy. Good job. I today. appreciate that. Yeah, so. Well, hope you catch us next time for Shot TV. I'm Nathan Thomas. And I'm Tyler Kyle. Two, Two men in their fishing rods. We'll see ya. For a more detailed map of our fishing locations, become a fan of ours on Facebook. That's right. Just look for Two, Two men, men and their fishing rods. <laughs>